everybody so today I have a really exciting video and it's actually going to be a holiday collab video with Carrie or 615 Care Bear we're both going to be doing some holiday Christmas looks we're going to show you our makeup and our hair as well as some outfits as well so this is a jam-packed video I have a makeup tutorial combined with a hair tutorial combined with an outfit of the day it's kind of like a get ready with me style so don't forget to check out Carrie's video and tell her that I sent you and of course subscribe to her. She's amazing. I know you guys are going to love her videos. She is so gorgeous and she has some really creative videos too. So definitely check her out and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm first going to apply my MAC Studio Finish Concealer using a damp beauty blender. And I'm doing my eyeshadow first just because I'm going to be working with some dark shadows and I don't want to get it all over my face. But I'm just going ahead and applying some concealer underneath. This concealer also works as an eye primer too, so that's awesome. So I can skip that step when I use this. And then I'm just going to go over that concealer on my lids with a little bit of my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. This is the face powder I use and it just works excellent at setting it and also applying some coverage too. Now I'm using my Lorac Pro Palette and I'm picking up the shade Garnet and Deep Purple and I'm going to be mixing those two colors together. I have a giveaway going on where you can win a Lorac Palette of your own. There's three winners for that too so I will have that linked down below. So I'm using a large synthetic shader brush and I'm just applying this all over my lid and I'm just kind of carving out my crease but I'm leaving the line kind of messy because we're going to go back and blend. And I'm mixing the two shades because I wanted to create like a burgundy plum shade so you'll see I mix a lot of different eyeshadows in this look to get the color that I was going for. And then I'm just blending all that out with a blending brush and this is clean it doesn't have any shadow on it. Now I'm taking this NYX palette and I'm going to first pick up the burgundy shade and it's a really pretty like wine burgundy color and I'm just going to go over that same shadow that I applied before because I wanted it to look more red and not so like muddy and purple. And I'll have all the products that I use linked on my blog if you're interested. Now I'm taking the orange shade from that palette and I'm using a synthetic blending brush. This one's a little bit of a bigger blending brush and I'm just applying that all throughout my crease. This is going to help warm everything up and when we apply the burgundy shade again it's going to make it look really red and just really gorgeous. So this helps transition that red into your actual skin tone color instead of just going right from red to your skin tone. So now I'm taking that red shade on a pointed crease brush and applying that right to my crease. Now going back to my Lorac Pro Palette, I'm taking the shade called Cream, which is just a perfect brow bone highlight. And I'm just applying that using a synthetic blending brush to my brow bone. That's just going to help blend everything out. And then I'm going back in with the orange shade and just blending some more. You'll see I'll go back and forth between colors just to get the color that I want. Then I'm just using a makeup wipe to clean up those edges. I wanted a really sharp edge and since I hadn't done my foundation yet, it's really easy to do this just to clean everything up. Or you could always use tape before your eyeshadow too. Then I'm taking this gorgeous Maybelline Eye Studios palette and I'm using the plum purple shade that's in there and I'm just packing that on my lids again. Again, I wanted to add a little bit more purple to it. You could also use just this palette instead of the Lorac one if you don't have the Lorac one and just use that purple shade for the whole lid. So now for my face makeup, I'm applying the Studio Gear Prime Objective Face Primer. And this is my favorite face primer that I've been using lately. It is a silicone one and it just works perfectly at making my foundation go on much smoother. And it keeps it on all day too. Then for foundation, I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. This foundation is great for the winter time because it's really thick and hydrating at the same time. You don't even have to use a powder with it either because it does dry on your skin and it has a really nice finish. This also does not have SPF in it, so it's great to use if you're going to be taking photos and stuff around the holiday time. And I'm just using my beauty blender to apply that because it makes it go on so flawlessly and it keeps it from looking too cakey or anything. Then I'm just taking my MAC concealer again and I'm applying that underneath my eyes and I'm also spot concealing around my face with it. 
Now I'm going to be taking the green shade from the iStudio palette. I'm just going to use the sponge tip applicator that comes in it and I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line. This is going to be a really pretty festive pop of green on the lower lash line, especially if you have hazel or green eyes. This is going to look awesome. I like using this sponge tip applicator because it's really pointy too, so it works a lot better than a brush just for smudging that underneath. And then I'm taking the pink shade that comes in the palette. It's just a really light shimmery pink and I'm using an angled fluffy brush just to apply that to my inner corners to really brighten everything up. Now for brows, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and mine is in the shade Chocolate and I'm just going to fill in my brows. I'm just going to kind of skip over this because it's nothing really important. I'm just filling in the sparse areas and trying to enhance the arch that I have. Now I'm just using my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel to set them in place so they don't move around. And now I'm just taking my NYX face powder again on an e.l.f. Kabuki brush and I'm just going to apply this all over my face to set my concealer and my foundation. I like to wait a little while after I apply the liquid products just to make sure everything is set in place and it doesn't look too cakey if you let it dry before you apply your powder. Now I'm taking my Jane Bronzer, mine's in the shade Dream. This is a really nice skin tone matte bronzer with no shimmer and I'm just going to contour with it and I'm using a Sedona Lace Dome contour brush. Then for blush, I'm applying the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Plum Wine. Now I'm going to take the NYX Glam Shadow Stick. This one is in Pink Ruby and I'm going to be using the shadow stick to highlight my face. I really like using this as a highlighter because it's a really pretty shimmery gold color and since it's in a stick form, it's really easy to apply and I'm just blending that out with my finger. Now I'm going to apply my eyeliner and I'm using the Studio Gear Invincible Gel Eyeliner. This is my favorite black eyeliner. I've been using it every single day. I'm just using a Sedona Lace Bent Eyeliner Brush to apply that and I'm just winging that out and I'm also taking it on my lower lash line. Then I just applied the CoverGirl Ink It Eyeliner Pencil in black to my waterline and I kept it on the outer corner because I didn't want to close off the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm just using my lash primer. This is the Studio Gear Prime Objective Lash Primer. And I love using this just because it helps my mascara go on better and it makes them look super long and full. Now while that dries, I'm just applying my lipstick. This is the L'Oreal Lipstick in Jennifer's Nude. And it's a really pretty nude color, but it also has some color to it as well. Then I'm just applying the CoverGirl Colorlicious Lip Gloss and this one is in the color Berrylicious. It's a really pretty like mauve berry color. Then I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. And I'm going to apply my new favorite mascara which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And that is it for the makeup look. So now for my hair. I've already applied my curly hair products that I use, which is just my Aveda Be Curly Curl Enhancer. And I've also diffused my hair using a diffuser on my blow dryer just to shrink up the curls. And I already have in one weft of my clip-in extensions. I just got these from my fantasy hair and I've been loving them. I had them custom dyed at my salon and I also have already went through and curled them all using this new me one. This is part of the Lustrum 5-in-1 curling set and this is just the pearl, I think it's called. It has like a variation in size to the barrel which is really nice because it gives you really natural curls. This is the closest really that I can get to my natural hair texture. I'm actually going to be curling some of my natural hair too just to blend everything. But I'm just going in and clipping in a few other wefts. I really didn't use very much hair at all because obviously I don't need a lot. I've just been wanting to play with some extensions recently and I just wanted to see if I could make my hair a little bit thicker especially when my hair is straight. And the extensions that I got are the 20 inch with natural ends and they're also 180 grams and there's a lot of hair like I didn't even use near as many wefts as I could. And then I just used some of the Numi hair primer. I applied this mainly to my natural hair because my natural hair is not near as shiny as these extensions. These extensions are also made from 100% pure Remy hair, which is real human hair. I think it's Indian hair too. They're really high quality. They're some of the nicest extensions that my hairstylist has seen when she saw them too. So that was really awesome. She really liked them and they definitely look very natural. 
and I had them dyed to match my exact hair color because my hair color is definitely pretty weird. It's not very traditional. <laughs> um, so I'm just going around and curling mostly the top layer of my natural hair just so everything blends and it also gives it some body and stuff and that is the completed hair look. Oh, I also have some Numi coupon codes for you guys and I will have those down below so you can get a huge discount on the Lustrum set if you're interested. So now for the outfit, I wanted something super comfy because I eat a lot on Christmas. So I'm just wearing this really loose, baggy, oversized sweater from Charlotte Russe. It's just like a beige color and it kind of has some black running through it. And then I'm wearing plain black leggings that are from Old Navy and they go all the way down to my ankles. And I'm also wearing a red cami underneath of the sweater and then this gorgeous blanket scarf that Nicole got me for my birthday and it's from Target. And they have so many cute blanket scarves this year, I want every single one. And then for boots, I'm just wearing my favorite boots that I got from Amazon. They're by the brand White Mountain and they're really cute wedge booties. These are super comfortable too. I can walk in them anywhere and they don't hurt my feet and they have a good grip on them too. So I will link those on my blog definitely if you guys are interested in getting them. So for my jewelry, I kept it pretty simple. I just wore a couple rings on my fingers. One of them is a little buckle ring and the other one says love on it. And then my earrings are just basic gold studs that are from Charming Charlie. And on my nails, I'm wearing OPI Ski Till We Drop, which is a really pretty just dark teal color. So that is it for my holiday get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know in the comments below what you plan on wearing or what kind of makeup you're going to wear for your Christmas dinners and holiday parties. And I will link the other look that I did in the description box below. And I'll also have all the products and everything that I'm wearing listed on my blog with links to where you can buy it. And the link for my blog is the first one in the description box below. And of course, don't forget to check out Carrie's video as well to see the look that she created. And don't forget, you do still have some time to enter my holiday collab giveaway, so I will link that video for you guys down below. There's three winners for that, and there's some awesome prizes for that, so you have until Christmas Eve to enter that. So that is everything for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Hey, everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a holiday look for you all, and I'm also going to be doing a short review of the Motives Cosmetics and the Nude Palette. This is the palette that I'm actually going to be using in the tutorial.